hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will talk about uh, aws network routing fundamentals uh, we will see how route tables work in aws so let's get started in the previous video we saw this uh, basic diagram where we understood what uh, aws regions are vpcs availability zones public subnet private subnet and how uh, public subnets uh, interact with the internet and how private subnet uh, can access the internet through net gateway and internet gateway so i will provide a link to this video in the description box you can watch uh, this fundamentals video if you have not already so let's get started with this video so here uh, is a scaled down version of the previous uh, slide where we have this AWS region and inside the region we have one VPC with a public subnet and a private subnet and in the pub public subnet we have uh, hosted our web server and in private subnet we have our database server so whenever we create a VPC in AWS a default route table is also created with the VPC which is called the main route table. So what is a route table? A route table contains set of rules called routes that determine where network traffic from your subnet or gateway is directed. For example, uh, in this diagram, we have this public subnet and private subnet. We have two subnets. The name of the first subnet is public and the name of the second subnet is private but in fact uh, these both of these subnets are private by default uh, by this what i mean is when we create a subnet a default route table is associated with these subnets so with both of these subnets this main route table will be associated and if we see this main route table there are two fields in this route table destination and target so what is destination? Destination is the range of IP address where you want your traffic to go. This is the CIDR block where you want your traffic to go. And what does it mean is, as we see here, <coughs> the destination is 10.0.0.0.16, which is the CIDR block or of our VPC so as you can see this is the CIDR block of our VPC and in the main route table in destination we have given the same CIDR block and this route table is associated with both these subnets the public subnet and the private subnet and the another point another thing in this route table is the target so what is the target here we have written local so target is the gateway or network interface or connection through which to send the destination traffic for example here we have written the target is local so in this diagram what it means is if this database server wants to connect to web server it can connect to the web server and similarly web server can connect to database server locally so the route would be like if the destination is this CIDR block means the local address range then the target will be local so if this database server which has uh, the IP range 10.2.0.24 wants to connect to the web server with IP range 10.0.1.0 24 then the route table based on this route table these two subnets resources in these two subnets can communicate with each other because in the route table we are saying that if the destination is our uh, local network then the target will be our local network itself so right now these both of these subnets in a sense are private subnets so to make this subnet first subnet public what we need to do we need to configure an internet gateway 
so internet gateway would be set up in the vpc and now we have set up the internet gateway but still this public subnet uh, this server in public subnet would not be able to access the internet or internet would not be able to access our web server because still the main route table is associated with this public subnet so we need to create a custom route table so we will create a custom public subnet route table and will associate it with our public subnet now as we can see in this route table the destin if the destination is internet 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0 means all IP addresses if the destination is internet then the request will go through the internet gateway the target will be internet gateway what it means is if the web server wants to access the internet then the destination is internet but the request will go through internet gateway the target will be internet gateway similarly this database server right now the database server is associated with the main route table this subnet is associated with the main route table so the database would not be able to access the internet say uh, you want to patch this database for latest security fixes you would not be able to do that so for this purpose what we do we need a net gateway so we, we will create the net gateway in the public subnet and using this net gateway the resources in private subnet would be able to access the internet but still this private subnet is associated with the main route table which is which has routes to the local uh, network only so we will have to create a new route table so we will create a custom route table which we are calling custom private subnet route table and we will associate this route table with our private subnet now we can see the destination for this route table is the internet and the target would be net gateway id so if this database server wants to reach to the internet the destination is internet and the target would be net gateway id so this route table using this route table this the resources in private subnet would be able to access the internet through net gateway so in this way we can control our uh, control the communication of resources uh, using route tables in our infrastructure so this was a basic uh, introduction to routing in aws networking uh, in the uh, upcoming videos uh, we will discuss uh, these things in more details with uh, multiple subnets and multiple availability zones so this is it in this video if you like the video please comment or uh, give your valuable suggestions and uh, consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos thank you